different cities are taking different approaches here. Today, Aurora's mayor said he will pursue a camping ban in his city. Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins already have one, but this is always a passionate debate. Here's Denver 7's Patrick Perez. Aurora Mayor Mike Hoffman making it clear he's working on a citywide camping ban. One option in my view that isn't acceptable is to do nothing. The mayor plans to introduce a proposal at a city council meeting on Thursday. Some already calling it cruel and sick, heartless and nonsensical. But the mayor says this is what the majority of people want. I get more complaints uh, as a result of the, the trash and things that like that that are left around. Uh, and so it's a it's a it's a problem that people want action on. It's estimated there are at least 462 people living on the streets of Aurora right now, a nearly 30% increase from 2018. Aurora only has about 150 shelter beds available, so the city is looking at other options to add more space. Those options include pallet homes and safe outdoor spaces like the ones in Denver. Mayor Kaufman says all of these ideas become even more critical if a camping ban passes council. In terms of having a formal adopted camping ban, uh, in order to survive a court challenge, you have to have an alternative for them to go to uh, within your city. Several council members have already indicated they're against the camping ban, including council member Allison Coombs. I think that it's very clear that it's a policy failure for Denver. Not only is it expensive, Coombs says, but it's also traumatizing to the people who get moved around. Even our residents recognize that when we just move people along from one place, they just go to another place. Mayor Kaufman isn't worried about getting the ban passed. I think there will be the votes for it. But Coombs calls the ban a bad idea that will do little to solve Aurora's homeless problem. In Aurora, Patrick Perez, Denver 7.